All right, folks. Well, it's time to start spin tires up again. I gave it about six months off because I wanted you guys to. I wanted they were going to make a couple changes to the game, and so we've done so far the hill, the plains, and the coast. Um, I'm hoping Evelyn can join me later today, but right now I'm, I, my son is gone. I don't know his password. He's not responding on his phone, so I can't get on the other account. So it's going to be me by myself to start with, but then she's going to join up. Uh, we still have to do Volcano, the River, and Flood. Uh, and we're going to get those done in the next couple months. Um, but today I'm going to do the Flood map. Once again, the issue that I don't, the reason why I don't do a ton of videos with spin tires is because when you're doing a multiplayer game, you have to go from start to finish. There is no stopping. <laughs> You don't get a break. You got to keep going. There's no way to save your your game. So, anyway, we're gonna do the flood today, which is a new map. And now, let me just tell you, it is a nightmare map. The flood is a nightmare. Let's start it. Great map. Another thing is, it's been several edition revisions since uh, you guys have seen me play spin tires, um, and so. They've added new features, including this awesome, ridiculously stupid camera view. Hold on here. I was uh, turning the truck volume down because otherwise it's going to get crazy loud while I'm talking. You won't be able to hear me. So there's this new truck view. There are a lot of people that wanted it, quote unquote, in the cab view. Well, this isn't quite in the cab, but whatever. I didn't really care. I like to watch the trucks. That's why I got this game. Um, and then another thing that they added is this. You can actually beep your horn now. It scares all the uh, woodpeckers away. Uh, and then they've added a whole bunch of new trailers, so let's pull up. The first thing I'm going to do on this map, because of some of the new features that they've added, I can actually do this. I don't think it was like this when I used to play. It might have been, but I don't think it was. Uh, you used to be able to just pull the other truck along and then winch them, but now, when you when you winch to another truck... Oh, damn, durr. Uh, you actually get to control the other truck from your truck. You can't steer him, but you can control his acceleration, and he actually drives with you when you're going. So you get... D here, this truck, uh, the blue cam is. That's a new truck, by the way. That It's the same truck as what I have now, but it's blue. <laughs> but uh, the blue cam is, is um, when I pull through... The, he, he gets stuck in the water. But with this truck attached to the blue cam is... We actually will be able to pull through the water because we have two engines now pulling these trailers. We, we will not get stuck. Um, but, you know, on this map, they've given us one cam is with... This is the only truck that you have to start with that has off-road tires um, that's functioning. And you really need to get the garage operational so you can fix the other trucks because this is the only truck right now that you can use. If you lose this truck, it's pretty much game over. Um, you're going to have a very difficult time finishing the map without this truck, or at least getting to the point where you can finish the map. So we got to do our best to not drown this thing and keep it running, but it's hard because the flood is bad. Uh, another new feature, as you can see here, we've got that garage cart. There's also a utility cart that you can pull as a small trailer. Instead of having the giant trailer like I have way back there, I can use these small trailers. It's easier for these trucks to pull those little trailers, and it makes it, oh, man, it's just so much easier. Um... So I'm, I'm really enjoying those new little carts because it makes it... Plus, you can carry more things. Like I could put a fuel tank on this truck and then still have a utility attachment attached to it. It makes it a much more versatile truck. And you'll see that later in the game. I will be doing that. So, yeah, so you can see here, if I press the button, his engine actually starts up. The only downside to this is you no longer can winch to this guy. So I, if his engine dies, if he drowns in the water... Then I'm pulling him with my full weight. Oops, donk. And um, and uh, I'm not getting any help from him. See, I can make him jump forward by pressing the, the winch button, and he, he helps pull. So if his motor is blown, though, then uh, this truck is pulling the full weight, and we will not make it across. So I have to be sure to keep both trucks in at least decent health. And I found that this is the only way that I've been able to complete this map. So I've completed it once. Uh, to the point where I got the logging trucks ready to roll, but I didn't finish the logging. So I've never actually finished this map. I've only uh, finished, like, uncloaking it and all that good stuff. So first things first, let's get across the river. My big goal is to have the, uh, the garage unlocked so we can start putting parts on our trucks and getting them fixed and, and getting them ready to 
get out there and do the work that they're supposed to do. So, but uh, this is a great little truck. the The cam is. The more I've played the game, even though it's soft, like it breaks pretty easily, uh, I found if I use my Xbox 360 controller, that helps the truck. It helps reduce the damage that I take in this truck. And it's actually a pretty good truck. And it seems out of all of them, it, it, the least likely to get stuck on stuff. I, I, I have a much easier because it's lighter weight. I think it just pulls itself out of the mud. So here we go. We're getting into danger territory, and you are about to see the flood. If you haven't seen it yet, it's pretty extensive. And it's a scary place. One of the things that they've done to make this difficult is that there's fallen trees all over the place. And oh my gosh, it is so easy to get your truck tangled in them. So, but at the same time, you kind of need to follow those shallow spots where the wood is. It's just, it's this is tricky because it, there's no real safe place. And it's pretty easy to drown your truck. So we're going to get here and I'm going to put the map up and... We're going to follow where the road originally went to get over to there. Um, but we're going to... You'll see it's very a very circuitous route. So that's our final goal to start with. Oops, wrong button. And here we go. Let the adventure begin. I'm going to lock the diffs for the water. You can see right away. Oh. And I found that getting your truck sideways actually makes it worse. So if you can find flat ground to get across. But once again, finding flat ground, where are you going to find it, you know? See, the back truck's getting more damage than I am. It, this is just a, ch it's a challenge. You, you turn places that look like they're safe, and they're not. So it's like right here, this looks safe, right? But all of a sudden... Now I'm getting damaged, and I'm trying to get over by these trees, because that means that it's a little bit shallower there, but I'm taking water damage. There's only so much I can do. Seems like if you stay by the islands, see, he's taking more damage. And it's it seems like that second truck always rides lower, too, because of the... It's just how it is. So we're going to shoot straight across here. <laughs> and you could be right next to an island. It might seem like, oh, it would be safe to stay by the edge of the island, but sometimes the deepest spots are right around the island. So you're really pretty much... <laughs> this is the only time I cross here. I found that once I get this first crossing to get into that back garage... I mean, I suppose you could go the other way. Maybe next time I'll try that, but... This way we unlock that second truck, and I will use this to tow that truck back too, because unfortunately the 255 that's on this map also has the same crappy highway tires, and they aren't going to cut it. you got to watch. See these trees here? you got to really watch, because if you get into those trees with either of these trucks, you're going to get hung up, and that could make you drown too, because as you're trying to get out and spinning your wheels, you're going to sink in deeper, and you end up uh, drowning the truck. <laughs> Trust me. I've made about eight attempts on this map before I finally figured out the combination that allowed me to succeed without completely drowning. And, and even that time, I went the wrong way the first time around with these trucks, and I almost drowned. So, now, nah, we're going to take water damage here. There's just there's no getting around it. You, you figure if you can get through this portion of it with 200 damage, you've done good. And we have a little breather here, because up in the woods here, I have the second... <coughs> or the... Uh, the gas is back there. Here we go. Here's the first deep section. I'm going to try to stick by this little ridge here and go towards the trees. Um, but on that island up there where my red circle is, the gas is parked. And that gas is a key to safety because he has a repair kit on him. So we can use that repair kit to bring our trucks back to health to make the second half of the crossing. Once again, don't get too close to the trees because they will get you stuck. So, so far I'm doing pretty good. I haven't gotten too much damage. And
you know. The other dis disorienting thing about the river is that um, as you cross these rushing parts, it does push your truck downstream a little bit, and you will find yourself slowly getting sucked over. <laughs> Once we get in the, into the lee of this island, we should be safe over in, on the bay side. All right, this will take us out of the current. But you can hear that other truck behind us laboring, and he so he's actually he's actually pulling too, and that makes it so that we will get through. My this extra motor, and I, that to me that's a much better way to do it because now you're both pulling. So if you're stuck, it's not just one truck trying to pull the other truck out or having to have multiplayers to do it, which, you know, the multiplayer part is what's fun about this game. But you don't always have people that can play with you. So you, if you get stuck by yourself, you're really stuck, and it sucks. But now you can actually operate like you, were, like you had somebody else pushing the gas in that truck back there and steering. So we are coming up to the checkpoint. And it gets deep. Look at this. We're probably still going to get damaged even in this little section. Uh, uh, oh, no, we made it. Okay. Oh, nope. Back truck's taking damage. See what I mean? And there's nothing you can do. He's just going to... He's taking the hits, you know? At least there's small amounts. But still, it all adds up. So I've got 18 damage on this. I bet you this guy back here has about 100 when we get out. Maybe more. So, whatever. What, what can you do? At least we have a, uh, this truck up here where we can fix it up and make the rest of the crossing. So I would say at this point, you could say we're at the halfway point, but it's still a, a rough road ahead. And it might be nightfall. I think they start you halfway through the day, which kind of sucks because... All right, so let's go unlock the 255 and get him over here and fix up our trucks. And... Uh, start heading across the next part of the river, so. So as you can see though, this is a great truck and it really, in the flood situation, it's not too bad. It is a little low, so it seems to catch the water before some of the other trucks will catch it, but. That's another new feature. <laughs> if you run your truck with the diffs on and you don't need them, they will overheat. And you have to watch. If you keep running it with the diffs on, you'll end up blowing a diff. I think I got lost. Hold on. i got to figure out the map where the heck I am. Uh, you. Yeah, I got I'm going the wrong way. How did I do that? I must have cut across the middle of the island and started turning left. It's actually directly behind us. So, Oops. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so your diffs your diffs overheat now. So that's uh, you gotta watch. As soon as you see that spline, either put your brakes on or turn the diffs off. If you don't, you'll end up taking some pretty harsh damage, depending on how fast you're moving. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Make sure I dip in too fast there. Oh, there's the there's the outhouse and the regular house. On this side. And one thing that they did change, I noticed, is that the four wheel drive without the diffs, I love when they fall. This is great. The floating tractor. Um, the four wheel drive does seem to work better. Like where you used to have to switch to diffs right away because you just automatically would get stuck. It seems like now that doesn't happen as much. You're able to actually move a little bit better. But see, he's got his high, he's got his highway wheels on, and that does not do us any good at all. Oops. All right, so we're gonna put our winch on him, and we're gonna start him up. I love that beep. It's so aggressive. Beep. Like the air, the air moves around it. 
and going the opposite direction. I probably should be smart about this and get on the map and put my map destination because I will get lost in those woods. <laughs> All right, so turning the diffs back on because we're doing some heavy pulling. And we don't have far to go. You can see how short the trip was, but I just I got lost. I ended up going over there to the left. So getting lost is a possibility, just like in real life, into woods. But as you saw in the back of the uh, the uh, Gaz here, he's got that. Uh, He's got that uh, utility attachment, which is really cool. I want to go through these trees and pull around that way. And so that utility attachment carries gas, and it also carries uh, repairs. And so you can pull that little trailer around with you and have extra gas and extra repairs for whatever you're doing. So I think that's a pretty nice, nice feature. You don't, you won't get stranded anymore with no, no nothing. Now with this little truck, I don't know that you'd be able to pull that, but come on, Bubby. Oh, he got stupid. All right, and then we're going to go into our advanced menu, which is uh, this guy. And we're going to, let's see if we steer the winch truck to the right. No, to the left. There we go, and we're going to accelerate him. Isn't that cool though? So you can make him do that and then you can turn to the right. See how that works? So now I can control both trucks without having to be, you know, oops, <laughs> bonk. <laughs> One thing that they still have not implemented, they were supposed to make it so that this truck or any of the trucks using the gear shifter here and you can see down on the bottom right there I have my little gear shift. Oh, we're going to get stuck on trees. Um, see those logs under the water? Those are gonna, those can cause big problems. Um, looks like I'm going right over them now, though. But uh, you should be able to see how you can put it. Like I can go here and shift it towards the. If you watch that bottom right, that should be first, and then second, third, and fourth, with those th three different or four different colors. And you should. So in other words, it allows the truck to go into those gears. So if I set it here, it should have theoretically. Go into second gear. Yes, yeah, I'm getting stuck on these stupid logs. Ugh. Uh, but that never worked, and it still doesn't work. You're just always in first gear. Either you're in drive or in first gear, and I, that kind of sucks because I want them to be able to have second gear. Maybe you have to have a clutch or something to do it, like a clutch pedal. I don't know, but it doesn't work. Uh, at least with the Xbox joystick. So, and it doesn't work with the keyboard either. So I don't know if it ever worked with any device, but. Now, why did I go this long way? Well, because I want to head. The, I want to have these trucks all headed the same way across the ocean here. <laughs> I live in Lake Erie, and when we were kids, we had a running joke. We had a, our our Ohio uh, teacher, the guy that teaches the Ohio geography, was like, "Now we live on Lake Erie, so it's a big. Obviously, those of you who haven't seen Lake Erie, people get the idea. They're like, oh, it's a lake. No." I mean, you pretty much, it's its 150 miles long and 50 miles across. So it's basically an inland sea is what it is. <laughs> it's an ocean. But people, you know, mistakenly see of it as a lake. So the first time they see it, they're like, whoa, it's huge. You know, I'm like, yeah, it's, you know, it's a great lake. That's, we, we mistakenly call them lakes, but they are inland seas. And what's funny is, uh, but we had, you know, it's called Lake Erie. Well, we had Ohio history class. And one of the girls in junior high in our class th thought it was, the teacher pointed to it, and he's like, what is this? Because <laughs> she had said something else, and he was just like, I can't believe you don't know this. He's like, well, what is this? And she's like, the Cuyahoga Ocean? <laughs> so we're going to, this is, here it is. This is the Cuyahoga Ocean. <laughs> anyway, a little ode to, well, I won't say her name, but not about embarrassing people here. She was a nice girl. She just didn't. Didn't know, even though she lived a block from it, had no idea what the name of the lake was. <laughs> That's one of the smaller of the Great Lakes. But All right, so now we're going to take this. You can see here we have the ability to repair. First and foremost, I think we need to repair this guy. He's gotten 233 damage. So we're going to do him first. And then we're going to do this truck. 
And then what'll happen is I will um, let's see. He's also got let's see, four hundred here, so he can repair himself. But he needs more. Oh, hold on. No, no, no. I had to pause for a minute because my kids came home and I come back and it's night. <laughs> and I even turned the thing off, but oh well. So we've repaired, let's see, any repairs left? I can repair this. He's fully, these are all fully fixed. Okay, good. They're going to need it. All right, let's see how our full fuel is doing. He's got 308 or 350. I've got 165. So he should be full. And then this guy. Uh, fuel. Well, 17 liters. That's enough to go like five inches. All right. So we're going to change trucks back to the the orange cameras. And we're going to pop our headlights on and... All right, so I'm going to pull forward here, and all right, so I pull up here, and Chaw should be joining me soon. I told Ryan to log her in, but he hasn't done it yet. Hold on. All right, so we're going to crash right into the other truck, and then we're going to move forward. All right, so here we go. All right, so we need to look at our map. We're going to plan our trip. Say probably the best way to get across this section. We're going to go in a couple different sections here because it's going to be out to here, down and around, and up here. You just want to stay cl as close as you can to the edge because that's where it's, I think it's shallow. I mean, maybe it is shallow all the way through the middle, but I've gotten lost a couple times. <laughs> Once again here, probably to here. And then cross, get a little wet there, and end up right here. There we go. So that's our current path. We'll pick up the rest later, but this will kind of keep us on our guided, directed path. Especially important in the dark because it's hard to see. Now, unfortunately, I've noticed one of the bugs that they've made or mistakes that they've made is that As you can't see, the compass is almost disappeared all the way. And the later it gets into the uh oh, the later it gets into the day, the harder that compass point. If it's pointing north, you can't see it. And I can tell if it's to the left or right, but if I'm heading on course, I can't see it. So that red uh, marker that shows me which way I'm supposed to turn, well. It's no good to me because it just disappears. Now this is... Uh, oh, it's getting deep. Oh, no, 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 no. So you see, this is what I'm talking about. It's really hard to get across this without taking any damage. Now, so far I've been somewhat minimal on the damage, but... It can happen anywhere in places that you've even gone where you're like, oh yeah, this is fine. All of a sudden, next thing you know, you're getting damaged, and I've already lost, you know, an eighth of my health. We haven't even moved a quarter of the way across where we're supposed to be going. So this is, it's a challenge. This is a very, very challenging map. Um, you know, and the river is similar, except for that, that river makes this, you know, that looks like a puddle compared to this crazy mess. Might try to cut through these islands here, I think. Let's take a look at the map and see where we're headed. I think this might be a better route straight ahead instead of going to the right. See how you can see the shallows here. This is nice. Get a little bit of a break. Alright. But I don't want to get lost, so we're going to see where we're at. Yeah, we're going to, so we're cutting through. And we might go this way. In fact, let's try this. We're going to go this way, this way, this way. Through this mess. Well, no. Put 
that here. There. Up to there. So that'll end our second stage. Uh, Evelyn Ryan signed in, so you're welcome to come on, come and join me. Um, spin tires. The star. Yeah, it's two player. Yeah, I think this is better actually. This is good. This will keep us a little bit more out of trouble. So let's see where Evelyn is. All right, so I'm gonna pause for just a second because I want to try to get Evelyn hooked in here. So we will be back in a minute.